I have here two bikes. I have an ASCO equipped TOC, 110 newton meters, 90 in normal mode. And I have a GoBow equipped bike with 100 newton meters, always basically, or 85 if you're in tour and something like 60 if you're in uh, eco mode or 50. Simple little test, we're in, uh, we're actually taking the lift up. Uh, we're gonna just, I'm just gonna basically go and find a little bit of uh, steep hill, not particularly trail or anything. I just wanna like ride them back to back because these are pretty much two of the most powerful motors on the market now. Both have 750 watts or more at the wheel. I think it's worth having a quick blast just to see. This video is not going to be particularly long. Comparison of feeling, I think, that's quite cool. So these are both on the market, these motors. I have noticed with the GoBow that the battery life, obviously if you're in 100 newton meter mode all the time, is, you know, fairly, you have to, it is something you have to think about. But so this is the GoBow, and this is the Asco. This is like the bottom of a ski slope. It doesn't look very steep in the camera, but it is fairly steep, 25%. So all I'm gonna do very simply is ride them up the steep bit of hill and tell you what they feel like. Okay, so we've got the Asco. It's in 90 Newton meter mode here, and I'm gonna switch it to 110. There we go, and we've got the boost, and off we go. Now this hasn't got the Ascol battery in it, so it doesn't produce the maximum power, but it does actually have the same torque. So this is interesting. It feels quite smooth actually, despite being pretty steep. Whew. But I don't see the point of doing this, to be honest. <laughs> like who wants to ride uphill all the time? Right, now it's switched out of the 30 seconds, and now it's in the normal 90 meter mode. Let's just make it up to here. Right, okay. So give me a good idea what it felt like. Let's go back down. That's a good couple of hundred meters there. Now let's take the GoBow, 100 newton meters. It doesn't have a boost mode, it just has 100 newton meters. Now apparently the software is rigged. So they can either feel like a Shimano or feel like a Bosch. Right now it's in more of a Shimano feel. So let's do the same, uh, same little test, shall we? So off we go. So the motor feels more like a Shimano. Also it has a bit more of a faster acceleration, but ooh, it's a bit of a dead spot. Up we go. Interesting. Hmm. I can feel that the Asco has a little bit more push but this has a little bit more lower end support. So as you're not pedaling as hard, it sort of covers the holes a bit differently. But the Ascol is the older software, so the newer software will change that. But this is interesting. I'd say this feels more like you're a passenger. That other bike felt like you're more connected to it and you're riding it and this felt more like you're a passenger. There they are, there's the two bikes, two motors, both 100 newton meters or more. That's not an advanced test, that's just a quick like, yeah, let's see it, how does it work? How does it feel? I don't have the Asco more than just a today, so I'll have another one of these a bit more in the future. But between the two, I have to say, yeah, the Asco felt like it had more peak power, and but it felt more representative of connected to the bike. So you felt like that the, it was mimicking the pedal strokes more. Whereas the GoBow was filling in the gaps a bit more as if you release the pressure on the pedals, it kept going. So it had more of a cadence induced support than the torque induced support of this one. The new software on the Asco will have a more cadence induced support so it'll probably start feeling a bit more similar to that one but I have to say the peak say the 100 newton meters it, it was pretty indistinguishable between this 110 I have to say you could feel it but not much I don't think once you're up on steep slopes like that and high-end motors with lots of torque and power that you're really gaining much from a few newton meters here or there and that was just an interesting quick test just to sort of highlight that really i mean i don't 
it's it they're both good but it's like it's not like one which has got more oomph is vastly better it's a little bit more uh is it necessary does it improve the ride up that hill uh i would say no not really i could go up with the go bow just as well as i could go up with the ascot i noticed in the 90 newton meter with the ascot it did feel like a bit of a drop off uh compared to the 100 n so you can tell the difference between a 90 and say 100 definitely but i wouldn't say 110 to 100 is vastly different. There's a lot of grip here. There's no wheel slippage. At the end, the Gobao felt a little bit easier on the legs, but the Ascol felt more responsive to my inputs. So it did what I wanted it to do, whereas the Gobao was a little bit more automatic. So it just sort of took you up. Interesting. Two different concepts of software. Remember, guys, it's the software. At the end of the day, both these motors are both very capable torquey powerful motors anyway i'm going to have more videos on both of these i'll have a test of the go bow up in a week or so and we'll see you soon on the next video don't forget to like and subscribe and write any comments below